that woman is unbelievable. She's been here five minutes and she thinks she can change things. I thought you said you weren't letting it get to you. It's hard, you know, when I can see what it's doing to Tom. He has been nothing but friendly to her and this is what he gets. Trust me, never turn your back on that hooey. Never. Shan. Two flat whites, please. I'll bring them over. Not paid to be popular, eh? No. But I'm getting sick of everyone around here taking everything so personally. Well, when your job's on the line. Uh, Tama and Shannon's jobs are very safe. And Chris's? He's been chewing your ear. He's a mate. Well, you haven't heard the latest then. Chris and I are fine. He's finally decided to give me a chance. Hmm, same here. But you know that. Craig. Yeah, I know. Your life is complicated. I meant as a friend. You've got room for one of those, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, gonna get a goal, man. Yeah! Yes! Whoa, where the hell did that come from? Oh, can't handle the heat, huh? I can handle it, baby. I'm on fire. Bring it! <laughs> oh, I think we've still got two more minutes left. I'm aware of that. I want to see you at the end of your shift. What for? Your review. Great, something to look forward to. Oh, you'll be fine. Oh, like I've never been in Judy's bad books before. Oh, I've got a guy. Have you read it yet? Yes, I have. Oh, you tried. Yeah, but it wasn't enough. I mean, Jake's a pain, but he's more of a pain when he's not around, you know? Is that new? Yeah, Tom and Shannon gave it to me. Birthday present. Is it today? Yesterday. Why didn't you say? Well, we had all that stuff going on with Jake and your dad. And... Oh, I feel awful. Well, did you do anything? Yeah, I had this mean feed at this cool place. So that's where you were last night. Oh, I feel so sting. Don't sweat it. But if you want to make it up to me... Yeah, of course. Thomas decided to give me this extra special treat. Be cool if you'd come along. What, like go to the movies or something? Better. So you're in? Okay. Cool, that'd be cool. When? Tomorrow. So it's a promise? You won't all of a sudden have something better to do? No way. Cool. Tomorrow, me and you, we're going earling. Everything all right upstairs? No problems with Huya Samuels. Why do you ask? Well, she's still new. She is definitely holding her own. Good. There's no major problems I should know about. I went ahead and ordered a new photocopier. The power's going to your head. <laughs> hey, I'm just keeping the seat warm. Uh, I'd better get going, and I'm sure you would rather spend time with these lovely ladies. We'll drop by if there's anything else you'd like to talk through. Thanks. And it's just a flying visit from me, too. I have to get back to ED. Oh, but you'll come back later? Mm, you try and stop me. You two can catch up. You've got a lot to talk about. I've been a real pain, haven't I? Putting you through this. No, you haven't. And I'm really sorry. What for? I wasn't here when you needed me. I got so scared about the court case and I just had to get away. And then one of Jake's friends had a beach house. So you took off? Well, we just wanted to spend some time together and I never thought that something, something like this would happen to you. Well, you're here now. That's all that matters. Can I make anyone a cuppa? No, thank you. You're making a really big mistake. I've been over Tanya's research three times. Your dad could have been misdiagnosed. Perhaps if you read it, Maya, you'd see. I think we should talk to the neurosurgeon first. I think Dad has a right to know. But it can't hurt to get our facts straight Excuse first. me, this is a family matter. Oh, Mum! I'm here. What's all the cloak and dagger? Come and have a seat, love. Has something happened? We've got some news. Haven't we, girls? Read this, Dad. I really wish you wouldn't do this. Have we got that, Maya? The decision's been made. What decision? Now, if this is about me, I'll be the one making the decisions. And tell me what's going on. When was the last time you and your band played together? Oh, bro, ages ago, man. We hardly even get the timing. Gotta make the time, bro. 
be a lot easier if someone was paying us though. Yeah, doing something you enjoy and getting paid for it. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, bro, being your own boss, that's the thing. Having a day off whenever you want. <sighs> Won't be much of that going on. You should tell Hilia where to go. No, oh, I can't. Shannon would kill me. The baby. Must be looking forward to being a dad. More than you think. Well, book me to babysit, bro. Well, if I'm around. Why, are you going somewhere? <laughs> not if I can help it. But I might not have the chance to have a kid of my own, you know? Ah, oh, that's tough. Yeah, cancer's not exactly a barrel of laughs. Sorry, I shouldn't be laying this on you. Ah, it's all good. It's just always there, you know? Even with Lee May, it was like there were three of us in that bed. Me, her, and the tumor. Well, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> Machuma, Machuma, Machuma. Well, yeah, I think Tanya might be onto something. I knew it. Oh, I'm not turning any somersaults yet. There are tests to be done. The same tests that you did before. Mm. They'll be painful, but worth it. Let's not get our hopes up. I'll call the doctor. Wait! Dad. Are you sure that this is what you want? You said yourself that you'd come to terms with things. Hmm. But I won't be any worse off if the tests tell me what I already know. But all the uncertainty, are you sure you want to go through all that again? It's amazing what a bit of hope can do. A misdiagnosis is extremely unlikely, you know that. Yes. No, I'll take my chances. But no more fighting. You hear me? No more fighting. Back at the cafeteria.